Hello and welcome to Security. In this video, we're going to be continuing the cybersecurity home lab project. And in this video, we are going to be installing the Security Onion IDS to monitor our virtual environment. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with the installation of the Security Onion virtual machine, which I got from the GitHub page. And I'm going to leave the link to where you can get that in the description so i already uploaded it to my server and i'm just going to continue from there so i'm just going to build the machine according to the specifications on the github repository for vmware vmware and i'm just going to yeah basically se select all the specifications as it says on this page Again, I'm going to leave the link link in the description, and you can also follow along. So I select the me memory space. I give it 16 gigabytes of memory. I give it two CPUs. And finally, I'm going to give it another network adapter. And I'm going to connect the network adapters in such a way that one of them is connected to my the VM network, which is my external network, and one is connected to the LAN network, which is my virtual my virtual environment. So I'm just going to select connect the ISO file right now, and I need to upload it to my server. I already downloaded it. I just look at it in my downloads and upload it. Then I'll just pause the video and wait for it to be uploaded. Okay, so now we have it uploaded, selected. Click on next, select. And yes, yeah, so my, I think I have everything set up now. I click on next. And click on finish. So just give it a bit to create a machine. And once it's done, I will be able to launch it. The machine right away. So I click on the machine, I click on launch. Once it gets to this page, I'll just select install security onion in basic graphics mode. Now it says press the enter key to begin installation and press the enter key again. So now I'll wait for the installer. So along with the GitHub repository, I'm also using this video from IT Security Labs. I think you should follow his channel. He has very um, educative videos concerning cybersecurity. I think you'll learn a lot from it. So now I'm just going to put in the username and select the password and re enter the password to confirm. And yeah, it's going to start to continue the installation process. I'll pause the video and bring it all back on when it's done. So now the initial installation is complete and I just press enter to reboot. I'll pause the video again and come back up when it's done rebooting. So now it's done rebooting. I prompted to put in my login and password and I do that. And the uh, security union setup began. Don't mind the football scores, I had a game going on at the same time I was recording the video. So it's um so I'm just going to follow the setup wizard, click on yes, click on install, select evaluation mode, click on yes, we'll give it a name. You can follow the video that I'm going to link in the description to go more into details. But basically I'm just following the wizard. Yeah, I give it an IP address. A static IP address. I'm using static IP addresses above 200 for my server, so I'm going to give it the IP address 201 because my Windows server is IP address 200 already. Click on OK. I need to specify the, the CIDR mask as well. And I specify my gateway, which is dot one. Um, 
here I need to enter DNS servers. So I already have the Google DNS servers, but I'm going to add my domain controller, my Windows server as another DNS server. Select my DNS search domain, which is my domain home lab local. Yes, I'm just continuing with the wizard and leaving everything basically as default. If you want more details, like I said, I'm going to link the video from IT Security Labs in the description and you can go where you can you really go step by step into it. But I'm just basically following this video and installing it. Yes, so now I select the interface I want to be monitoring and select the OS patch schedule, leave it as automatic. So this, my home domain is going to be in one of these network ranges, so I leave it as that and say okay. And now I'm going to leave all the tools selected because I want all the tools to be installed. I leave this as default, click on yes. And the email address I want for the administrative account, I'm going to set, put in an email. Click OK and password. So this is the account I'm going to be using to log on to Security Onion. So I need to correct the password. Just enter it one more time and confirm. Okay. So yes, I want to access a web interface by IP. I'll leave it as IP. Yes, for NTP servers, leave it as default. Yes, to run so allow. And just what IP address range I want to access the security union interface. I'm going to put in the IP address range of my environment. So my security union can be accessed from my environment. So now I can review all the configuration I have done. And if it's okay, I say yes. And the final installation process begins. So this installation process takes a long while. I'm just going to pause the video and start it up. Okay, another thing you need to do is set up the networking. If you're using a server like me, I would encourage you to check out the video, um, the IT video from IT Security Labs, where he really details step by step how um, to do the connection. You are however going to need a switch. A physical switch if you're using a server in order to um, use a spam port to mirror mirror the traffic basically to your security onion and so you can properly observe the traffic going through your environment so like i said i'm leaving the link to that video in the description below so right now the install is done and it has rebooted So yeah, I'll just check the status. It has to set up and start up all the tools necessary for the operation of Security Onion. I use sudo so status, put in my sudo password. So you see the tools are still starting up. Okay, so I pause the video and I'm back to check again. And now we can see it says okay, so all the tools have been started up properly. We can now access the management service. So I put in the IP address and I'm directed to the login page for the Security Union Management Interface. So I put in the email address and password that I created, that I specified rather while configuring Security Union and I get to the interface. So I'm doing a lot of skipping because I couldn't record this video properly. Um, bear with me. 
like I said, I'm going to link the IT Security Lab video if you want a step-by-step -step of how this process goes. And um, yeah, I promise to record the subsequent videos better. So yeah, I'm at the Security Onion interface now. Let me just make it a um, wider screen. And you can see the menu um, with different tools. You see, or different sections rather, you see the alert section, the hunt section for analytics. The alerts is for triaging and um, escalating alerts, creating cases, cases. A pickup for analyzing pickup files. You have um, to create as well. We have downloads for downloading agents on different devices. And you have administration as well for um, to view the different users basically that can access security on you. So we are looking at the different tools. This is Kibana. Kibana allows you to visualize data using dashboards. Basically, set different categories of data, maybe different um, specific data sets, so specific event categories to visualize. Next, we have Grafana. Grafana helps you visualize the performance of the security on your system. Then we have CyberChef. CyberChef is a very handy tool that helps you perform a plethora of functions. Then we have the Hive. The Hive is used specifically for case management. So when you escalate an alert, for example, it comes to the Hive and you can manage it from here. So we also have other tools like Playbook, which helps with detection engineering. And we have Navigator, the which helps us to visualize our coverage across our organization from a MITRE attack perspective. So in this video, we successfully deployed Security Onion in our environment. We also looked at the different features and tools that, com that accompany it. In the subsequent videos, we're going to be utilizing these features of Security Onion and looking more into the tools one by one. And I'm really looking forward to building up some hands-on experience with these tools. So, as always, if you're enjoying the videos, do like and subscribe and follow along the channel. If you have any questions as well, you can leave, in, leave them in the comment se section and I would be sure to um, get to them. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.